Well, hello again sports fans. The weather here has improved enough to let me take the uh, Quantum Venture out to the flying club where I've got a bit more room. I've upgraded the uh, stock video gear on the Venture. I've replaced the uh, CMOS camera with a 600 line CCD version and I've replaced the 250 milliwatt transmitter with an immersion RC 600 milliwatt type and a decent uh, TBS uh, antenna. So the intention is to uh, test out the video gear at uh, distance and low to the ground and behind objects just to see what sort of trouble I'm going to get myself into. So it lifts off fairly easily and I put it into a hover just to test the stability and lo and behold it isn't. All it wants to do is go around in circles and when I attempt to uh, use the yaw control it just becomes unstable and uh, drops. I'm pretty disappointed because I thought I'd fix this problem when I uh, changed the ceramic antenna on the uh, NASA flight controller. GPS uh, module. I've had several successful flights since then but I do recall that on the last one I uh, had a low battery and the wind blew me away and I ended up having a fairly hard landing so I start to think maybe that's had something to do with it. So I have a closer look and notice that not all the props seem to be in the same horizontal plane and uh, I actually grab one of the mounts and find that I can rotate it on the shaft so it looks like uh, the landing has uh, twisted the motor mount on the shaft and uh, the, uh, the props are actually facing out from the body of the uh, venture. So I twist them all back into position and give it another go and wonder of wonders it takes off and the hover test is fine, it seems to be nice and stable. So I fly it over to the other side of the strip near our windsock and do another hover test over there. There's a fairly stiff wind coming from the right, but it's not too bad. So the intention is to fly over that dirt ridge in front of us and visit the uh, spear pump that the farmer has installed at the other side of the paddock. There's no uh, visible line of sight from where I'm flying, so it should be a reasonably good test of uh, the video transmission. So I'm able to spot the pump housing uh, from the screen and uh, fairly cautiously manoeuvre my way down close to the ground to see how close I can get to it uh, without losing video. green foliage you can see in the background is blackberry bushes so uh, retrieving a lost model from alongside the creek is going to be a nightmare this season by the looks of it.
So I'm not having any problems at all with the video, so I uh, decided to um, get a bit of altitude and uh, head back to the pits and uh, think about the next uh, target. So I decided to fly across the other side of the creek and uh, check out what the reception is like from the other side of the trees that uh, line the creek. Some of them are quite tall. Uh, and I decided to start off with uh, hovering around the uh, track that runs around the side of the hill. So from here I'm barely in line of sight of the uh, pits, as you can see. I figure I might as well get some uh, practice in it handling the control, so I uh, try a little bit of uh, low level flying along the track. The farmer that owns this property apparently did some uh, weed spraying from a helicopter last year and uh, it looks like the results are a bit uh, patchy. There's plenty of dead blackberry but also plenty of uh, nice green stuff growing around. So, uh, yes, as I said, hunting for lost bottles is going to be pleasant. So the video reception is still pretty good from here and I decide well I'll move down closer to the creek behind this big tree and just see how that goes. And it, it starts to uh, degrade a little bit when I get down near the bottom of it so I back away and uh, put some altitude on and uh, decide to bring it back home because the battery is getting a bit low. So I'm pretty happy with the video test, it looks like I can get down quite low in the terrain without losing the video signal. I'll be doing some more tests of the uh, longer range stuff, but uh, at the moment it's pretty good. I'm starting to uh, learn how to control it a bit better, so uh, that's good too. I'm also pretty certain that this time I've finally identified the culprit for these periodic losses of control I've been having. In the past it's taken me quite some time to get the thing flying again properly but uh, returning all the props to the horizontal position fixed it this time immediately so I may have wasted my time changing out the antenna on the uh, NASA GPS but at least it doesn't seem to have uh, done any harm. So that's a good thing too. So the next uh, challenge is to install a, uh, an OSD so that I can uh, be a bit more comfortable about flying uh, further out. I'll probably go with the Hobby King Mini OSD because that's what I use in my fixed wing planes and it seems to do the job.